take 1,783. So, y'all ever get your family together, you know, on special occasions such as Thanksgiving and Christmas? One of my favorite times of the year. And the reason for that is I get to go over to my grandparents' house and I get to listen to all their stories about when they were a kid. I love listening to all this stuff and see how much times have changed. I've learned a lot from my grandparents. You know, they were one of the, there was a couple stories that kind of stuck, stood out to me. One was gas prices. And that's something everybody nowadays are struggling with, me included. Uh, but my grandpa used to tell me, he goes, yeah, I used to fill my whole truck up for $5. Now it cost me 105 to fill my truck up. You know, I, I think that's cool. You know, I, I like learning and listening to his stories. But one of the stories that he told me that I, I will never forget, and it piqued my interest. He's told me a thousand stories, and he's told this one to me a thousand times. But I was young, and I was running around. I wanted to play. I, it went in one ear and out the other. One that stood out to me was my grandpa served in the Marine Corps, uh, and he would always tell me how he was top of his class in shooting a firearm. And the reason that one stood out to me is everybody in this class knows that I am an avid hunter. I have tons of guns and I love shooting them and I'm a pretty decent shot. I'm not top of, the top of my class or nothing, but I, I can shoot a firearm. And I didn't think about it a lot at the time, but me and my grandpa don't have a lot in common. And this kind of piqued my interest, and he would always tell me how, how good he was, and I would always laugh, you know, and not think too much about it. But, so all them stories that he would tell me, you know, not only was it, oh, just funny, ha-ha, laughing stories, it's also a big learning point. And what I mean by that is, my grandpa has taught me almost everything I know. And he taught me how to change the brakes on my truck. No, it's not a big deal. You can take and have your brakes changed at Auto's Zone or wherever, Walmart, and uh, but it's gonna cost you a couple hundred dollars to get your brakes changed and your rotors replaced. My grandpa taught me how to do it myself, you know? And you take all the little moments for granted, you know? One day they're here, the next day they're gone, you know? So you need to spend as much time with them as possible I spend a lot of time with my grandparents. I do a lot for them. They're getting up in age, and I know some of them, my grandpa also has diabetes, so I know he's not gonna be around forever. One day could be his last. Tomorrow could be his last. And there's a song that stuck out to me uh, by one of my, probably one of my favorite artists, named Riley Green. Uh, the song was named, uh, I Wish Grandpa's Never Died. That song touched me, uh, kind of hit start pulling on my heartstrings a little bit, you know. Just everybody wants that one more day that they want to spend with their loved one, you know, especially your grandparents. You know, your grandparents do a lot for you. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have half the stuff that I have today. Uh, Full-time babysitter. I mean, that's a big deal. I'm not sitting there. I work 40 hours a week, sometimes more than that. And I'm trying to do the best that I can to support my little girl. I have, like I said in the last video, I have a six-year-old little girl that means the absolute world to me. I would do anything for her. But I'm trying to make a living so I can support for her. And I'm sure a lot of people out there, especially my age, are trying to do the same thing. But they're also dropping their kids off at daycare services or they're paying a babysitter. The thing is with doing that, and I'm not saying all babysitters are bad or daycares are bad, but you don't know who's watching your kid. I do. My grandparents watched my daughter. They wouldn't watch my daughter if I had nothing to do with them. True? Absolutely. So I know my daughter's getting fed. I know she's getting played with. I know that she's gonna be okay when I get back. Loneliness sets in if they didn't watch my daughter or if I wasn't around, you know, I'm like their I'm the only grandson. So if they didn't have, if their daughters didn't have kids, then they would be lonely. Loneliness leads to depression. Depression leads to death. I know nobody likes that word, uh, and I know several people 
uh, that don't have neither one of their grandparents. I don't know what I would do without mine. Uh, I would be struggling anyway. But 37% of your grandparents that are more active or have grandchildren, their survival rate is 37% higher than somebody that doesn't have kids. That's a lot, I mean, it really is. Uh, I know my, my grandparents would do anything for me, and I would do anything for them. I know they're getting up in age. I go over there and mow their yard. I go over there and try to take care of their house. I pressure wash their sidewalks. I, do, I bend over backwards for them because no matter how much I do for them, I will never repay them for what they've done for me. Uh, and I am very fortunate to have that. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing research, especially on this speech. Uh, and I didn't have to do an astronomical amount, but I did do some. I usually speak off my tongue. I don't have a lot of super backed up facts. But I started speaking off my tongue a little bit on this speech uh, and kind of planned it out before I did it. And I got my, what I, I wanted to talk about, I found sources that backed it up. One was Teen Vogue. Uh, the other one was Tiny Bean and Rosemark. Them sources backed all of my opinions up and it did, it saved me some time. So I appreciate everybody for listening to my speech and I thank you for the, your time.